When a tunnel boring machine digs a tunnel under the seabed, the toughest challenges are water leakage and collapse. So how do engineers deal with this? Many underwater mudstone layers contain tiny cracks where seawater can seep in. Traditional TBMs simply can't operate under these conditions. To solve this, engineers added a pressure chamber behind the cutter head. The excavated soil is mixed with water to form thick slurry. As the TBM moves forward, this slurry is pushed into the cracks, creating a seal that blocks seawater from rushing in. Since the seafloor soil is often very soft, digging forward leaves empty space behind. Without support, the tunnel would be at high risk of collapsing. To prevent this, engineers installed powerful hydraulic jacks behind the TBM. They push precast concrete segments into place, connecting them one by one to form a solid ring. With this structure, the tunnel stays stable even without the surrounding soil. Once the tunnel is completed, the TBM isn't pulled back out. It's too large to turn around and can only move forward. Dismantling and removing it would cost a fortune and take a long time. Instead, a shaft is dug ahead of it. Workers remove the valuable internal components, and the remaining structure is sealed with concrete and left underground permanently. It may seem wasteful, but in major underwater projects, this is actually the most cost-effective and efficient solution.